Sooner or later, this landscape you see right before our eyes will be a bustling city. This terrain generated in 2014, <laughs> this what used to be called the mountain terrain, looks pretty easy to work with. What's this? Mr. Chicken? Oh, I guess we're gonna go down. But hey, welcome back to the Let's Play. This is Dallas here. And yes, I believe we're going to be continuing with our city build today. What the heck? Why? Why did I dig up here? Was I just exploring caves? Ah, more caves I need to light up. Must have just dug out from an adventure here one day. Anyway, I have lots of plans for this episode today. I'm going to try to make it a half an hour again. And we're going to try to build a lot. That's the plan. If you haven't noticed, we are really lacking something over here. And that is structure. Not structures, but st structure as in maybe a road and some paths. These are literally just buildings built in the most random locations. And I did do that on purpose because I vision a path through here. So let's get building that path. But what kind of path do I want? If we head to my test world here, you will see tomatoes. <laughs> I thought this was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what I'm visioning here. I don't want a road for cars. This is not going to be a city built for cars. This is going to be a city built for Minecraft, but it's going to be somewhat futuristic dystopian styled, but in my own style. So this is kind of what I envisioned here. We're going to have a road system like this. I'm even going to build sewers beneath this, but I kind of like there not being any grass. I like it just all being stone. Maybe this wall style can be used for elevating surfaces. Let's give it a try. All right, man, Drew, I need to repair you. I forgot you need a smithing template just to repair stuff now. Jeez, it's getting nuts. These tools took a lot to make. Is it going to be a simple fix? Okay, good. I am happy. Okay, got some decently big improvements done on the power plant. Ooh, yeah, that looks way better. Oh, it actually looks like it has something to sit on now. This took a while, to be honest. <laughs> I was just going through many different variations of colors, but as you can see, I'm still going for that just extremely gray look. But oh yeah, that looks way better. So I mainly used light gray concrete. I mixed in some light gray wool just to texture it a bit. Got some supportive beams right here and got it curving around this way. Got a staircase, might mess with that a bit. Put some air ducts right here just for a little bit of design, okay. Now I am going to be continuing this over this way. This is going to be the main ground for all of my city over here. So I'm probably going to cover all that up. I have, I have a building idea. Head up onto Creeper Enterprises here. I'm imagining the main road coming through here. And I think I want my next build, surprisingly, to be a hotel or apartments. This is where most of my villagers are going to be living that work around here. But I want this hotel to actually be the first build that looks more dystopian cyberpunkish, if you know what I mean. These are more brutalism. I've been working on one in my test world. I think I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, let's head up up in the skyscraper here. <laughs> no, ow. Thank God for feather falling. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's... Yeah, it's about perfect size, so I completely scrapped the idea of... Well, I didn't scrap it. I'm moving it somewhere else. My dystopian-looking building, but this is going to be a hotel or apartments, and this building is going to have a use. So most buildings here in this city are going to have a use, unlike this one. <laughs> like I said, I originally meant for this to have a use, but I completely forgot about it. I was just getting so into building, and I just built it. But this, I just imagined, this is gonna be the main road here. I still gotta design it and stuff. The main road's gonna go right down through here. And I imagined just a tall, old looking hotel with, you know, those like neon signs hanging off the side. And what this hotel is gonna be used for is where I put a lot of my villagers. I think I already mentioned that, but this is where we're going to breed them and make more to spread out through the city, most likely. So. I think I'm going to make the structure today, but I'm not going to make the interior yet. That can be a later project. As you can see, I'm using mossy cobble. I actually like this as a base a lot. Right up here, I'm using gray concrete and the walls on the main building above it. These are the outside barriers so you can go on the balcony. I think I'm going to use diorite. I just really like how it looks in my test world, so 
I need die right now. And I actually don't have much left in my world. I'm actually getting to the point where I'm using all my resources and I have to go mining for stuff like andesite and diorite now. And I know, I forgot you can actually craft andesite with diorite and cobble, I think. That's probably where all my <laughs> diorite went. It's getting bigger. I think I'm gonna do a few more floors, and I just now realized I've been going out collecting ink sack for this light gray concrete. Mix it with bone meal, and I hate gathering ink sacks because it just takes a while. But didn't I just gather a bunch of flowers that gives light gray dye? I think these do. Thought I gathered more. Yeah, there's somewhere in my world where I stored a bunch of flowers. I don't know where they went. Let me guess. Light gray dye, of course. Yeah, I have to get my concrete like this because a lot of it hangs, so you can't place the powdered dirt and then turn it solid. Ah. Uh. I guess I should get up. I've been resting. This build is taking forever. I don't know why. I honestly thought it would take no time at all. But I got the complete outer shell done. And boy, oh boy, I am happy with the way it turned out. <laughs> it fits the vibe of these other buildings so well. And it looks like a proper hotel, too. The height is just right. There's lots of space. It looks... Honestly, it looks a little small from this perspective, but it is huge. Um, almost too big, I think. This is how this is doing, by the way. It's doing all right. The numbers aren't amazing. I also got to light up under here some more. The more I cover this up, the more it's going to be dark. But just considering how long this took, I am dreading to do the inside. Because I got, well, this floor, one, two, three, four, five, six different floors. And I'm going to decorate each and every one of them. And they're going to be villager homes. Oh, God. I don't know how soon I'm going to start this. I'm just trying to get buildings out in my city. I might even start on another one, but I'm going to temporarily put things over the windows to make them look blocked off and put walls right here because I completely forgot about that and put a roof on and also attempt a neon sign hanging off right here. I was also thinking of a way to write like Japanese lettering vertical. I think that would fit pretty well. Let me try some stuff. Look at this. This is pretty cool. I completely forgot that you can type different types of things in this game. For example, I'm on Windows 10. I think this works for Java 2, but when you're in the view of looking at this, you just press Windows and then period. I don't know. Did, did it pop up? Do you see this? Yeah, you probably do. But <laughs> I just click on the black large square as many times as you want. But you got to be careful because Minecraft automatically puts a hyphen right there. So you got to put the right amount. So yeah, this can be used for many different things. You could even be really intricate and start writing out messages with these giant uh, squares. And then you could really make a neon sign. But I feel like, I don't know if I want to go through this because I was starting here. Look, it kind of looks like a keyboard, doesn't it? Too bad you can't place these flat. But I don't want to go through here and hit backspace and then space and try to create a message out of this. Here's one I came up with. I think this one's kind of cool. Somewhat looks like Japanese lettering. I don't know Japanese, so hopefully this isn't a curse word. <laughs> I decided to put myself through some suffering. Remember, sometimes it takes suffering to learn, and I'll admit, I'm already getting the hang of it. So, it was worth it. You dispel the letter L now. This just takes a lot of counting. So, for example, like I, I can already spot my L. So, with my cursor right here, I'm going to get rid of four squares, but they take up two spaces, so I'm going to backspace four and space eight times. This one's six. And there we go. The letter L. <laughs> I don't even know if this is going to look good. Motel. I think motel would make more sense than hotel. E looked a little strange because I only have four lines to choose from. But from a distance, I wonder if... Yeah. See, yeah, if we're walking down that road, imagine that on the side of the building there. I totally think that would look good. Been a while since we've been in here. I gotta say, this thing has been the most handy thing I've ever made because I don't- I simply don't have a bone source in this world. 
And this is where I've been able to get a lot of bone blocks in. I'm starting to find out bone blocks are a really powerful building block. That seems like a good spot for it. I fixed it a little bit, made it look better, made the E look a little better. And I spaced all the letters out, so they're five wide. Um, but yeah, you can copy it if you want, that's exactly how I did it. Now to brighten it up just a little bit, we're going to turn it red. Now I could totally do it on the other side, which I most likely will. I already have the signs there, but it takes a while. So I'm just going to see if I like it like this for a bit by walking past it quite a few times. Now I like this one, but I'm also picturing up there, higher up, a bigger one. Maybe with some of those Japanese-inspired looking letters I had. Maybe someone Japanese runs this place, who knows? Okay, I got a sign here. Uh, this is going to be the one. Maybe it says motel. Is this even a motel? Aren't motels like one story tall? Oh well. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put that there. I took a picture on my phone, so I'm looking down on it. I'm gonna do some of that, some of this. We're gonna open this one. Then we're gonna put that right there. And then boom, boom. And then we're gonna put a button there. Wow, see that? Button. Then we're going to put that there, open it. Right there. We're gonna grab some trap doors. We're gonna put one there. And put one there. And one right there, too. Hope this will look good. I don't know what this will look like on the side of this building. Ooh. You know what? I kind of like that. Yeah. You know what? I It's growing on me. I thought it would look a little weird, but I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put the same thing on the other side. You also gotta remember, I'm also gonna build probably a big building right here. I'm gonna have lots of stuff on- it looks very plain right now. We're gonna have stuff all over the place. And then of course the main road going down this way. We're gonna add in some LED lights too in some areas. City planning is hard. It is really hard. I have to sit here and stare for a while and try to imagine a building right here. And this is actually the base of that dystopian building I want to build. It's gonna be a darker building but with a lot of like gadgets and smokestacks on it. But when I imagine it here, it seems very out of place. So that said, I'm going to wait until I get more into this area to do those crazier buildings and slowly transition into the dystopian cyberpunkish look. While on the outskirts of the city, like here for example, I'm going to stick to these very gray corporate buildings. Okay, so this design I had is not going to go here either. Oh, this is so hard. But I don't think I should be making another building this episode anyway. I need to focus on more smaller details. Which I have been, a little bit. I'm expanding the road some. I got the bottom base of that made. I still need to put the roof on that. So you can see I'm starting to build a base for this building. Well, since it is a more expensive looking building, I'm gonna make it look like it's more taken care of. So for example, out here, I might have some lawns with some shrubbery just to make it look somewhat nice. Got a fence on here. Oh yeah, I forgot I gotta make the office up there. I don't know if I'll do that today. Instead of making another building, I want to spice up these flat areas just a little bit. I have an idea. Let's try it. Okay, if we head over here, as you can see, I'm starting to add in some grass popping out every once in a while. This city isn't perfect, that's for sure. Because there's going to be a giant cooling fan right here that make it look like it's attached to this power plant. But <laughs> to think that there's a power plant right here and a motel or hotel right here. And I think I can't get away with calling this a motel because motels are simply travel stops for people who are driving a lot. Uh, they can be multi-storied, really. So I'm just going to keep that on there, mainly because I don't want to redo that. Even though I could just change one letter and put H. I don't know. Sleep. I want to sleep. But all right, I'm going to attempt a fan design here. Um, would this look good? Just like a little ring under this to break it up a little. Sure. This is the type of fan. I need next to my bed. Stone is so precious to me now. Every time I break it, I pick it up because the amount of stone I'm gonna need to just do this, for example, like how much I've covered already, <laughs> is a lot. But it's so worth it. Building cities is so cool. All right, there we go. Fan. How does it look from above? I think it looks better higher up. Ooh, nice. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful fan. I thought about putting another one right here, but I gotta expand out this way. I gotta figure out how I'm going to transition it into this lower land. Ooh, I could definitely take inspiration from that and have like, maybe like some sort of modern mining area. And I'm also really looking forward to get to the coast over here because 
I would like to build in a modern industrial dystopian style coastline here with a bunch of cranes. Could even possibly make a ship for once, you know, like a, a freight ship. There's so many possibilities out here. And I'll try not to bore you guys to death by constantly working on this. Uh, I know I have been lately, but that's just really what I'm into right now. Well, I've been doing some detailing, like I said I would. Um, mainly going through. So one thing I really like to do with all, so I obviously throw down stone everywhere, but then I go through and add big splotches of andesite and dot in cobble and even mossy cobble, I'm starting to realize, looks really good too. So even mossy stone brick around these sidewalk areas. As you can see, just this small texturing adds so much to this area, as well as this grass in a lot of random areas. I added a little fence around this. Don't want any little baby villagers walking into an operating fan. <laughs> so over here, I'm imagining some sort of pit that has something to do with this building, so I'm not gonna really bring that to life today, though. But look how much we got done in today's episode already. We started off... Yeah, this stuff wasn't even here. Holy crap, I've done a lot. There was only this building and this building here, so we've done all of this. I'm pretty psyched. I wanted to head up here. Actually, let's check this building. How much creeper for gun? Oh my god. It was like right here last time I checked. Got all that from working around here. I'm glad I built this first, because as we work around here, this will just be loaded up. Don't worry, I read your comments. I completely forgot these are a directional block, so whichever direction you're facing, there, now the creeper face is right side up. <laughs> you guys left a lot of suggestions for this room up here. I think I actually want to take one of your suggestions. I forgot who it was, but I want to make somewhat of a tall, robotic-looking creeper. I feel like that would be kind of hard, but I don't know. I think that would be kind of cool, as if they're developing just a machine you can use in battle, but it's creeper-shaped and maybe it explodes. I think that'd be kind of cool. But I want to head up here, because I, I, I want to try to make that grand piano I was talking about. It's going to be hard. Moves the looms, those are the strings. Huh? Huh? Grand piano. <laughs> this is awful. Oh. I don't know what to put as the keys. Okay, I'm gonna have to mess around with this more. Don't, don't look at that. Close your eyes. Well, I know I said I'd reach 30 minutes this episode, but that's probably not going to happen. But it's just gonna be my average length. That's not gonna happen too often, 30 minutes, but I would love to make that happen. But I reached deadlines where I have to upload this video today, and I'm sort of out of time because I still gotta factor in editing and all that. But I'm sure you guys understand. I mean, look at all that we built. This is awesome. <laughs> I was about to build my next building right here, and this was going to be a small one, almost like a garage looking building, so I can put all my shulker boxes and stay sheltered while I get supplies and all that, so I'm probably going to do that soon. Wait, I'm not on RTX, what the heck? Oh, can't have cave noises, that means there's a dark spot under here. Yep, looks about as I suspected it. Oh, I like how the sign actually looks a little more bright. But anyway, let's answer today's comic question of the day. Got a couple of them. First one's from Pat Pat. Any other mega builds auto farms planned? Absolutely. See, that's what I... Well, I need to get some slabs right here. But that's absolutely what I see this city turning into. So, you know, like in the... We slowly transition to different stages in this world. Like for the longest time, I never touched auto farms. Then I slowly started getting into different types of farming, in my lab, such as like turtle scoots. Got my sugarcane tower at home. And then we start adding age to the world, such as my house, because it gets older over time. But now I feel like since my lab is so big, we act like we are progressing our technology in this world. So me and villagers are starting to plan a city and we are, and I am. <laughs> and I want this city to get so huge to the point where I even at some point build a bank here, like a big proper bank, and I transition all of my, like, you know, ores that I store out in the open in my vault to this bank. Even I even thought about making a, a huge new museum where we can then transition all of our stuff over there to this museum. Almost make it where this city is the center focus of my world at some point. Or it's like, we're at home and say, yeah, I need to run to town for something because most of my stuff is here, such as auto farms 
and all that. Oh, I love how that creeper face glows. Look at that. But yes, I'm going to, at some point in this world, make every version of an auto farm possible in this city. And the other question was from Jason Drew S. Do you carry a pocket knife? And if so, what knife do you carry? Yes, I usually carry a knife everywhere I go, but I'm not, I don't usually get those really high-end knives. Like, I've always wanted a Benchmade knife or a switchblade or an automatic knife. I, I really want one of those, but they're kind of hard to get. Well, for me, I haven't really looked. But as of right now, I, I'm carrying what my grandpa gave me as a gift, and it's a, just a classic folding buck knife. And I just, there's something about those classic buck knives that are just really nice. And it's just super handy, too. It's the style of them. They got three different blades on them. I love it so much. And the fact that my grandpa gave it to me just adds that extra value to it. But yeah, I've been really keeping my eye out for an automatic knife, too. I just really want one. Maybe like a button press. I think that's the one I want. Oh, they do make a buck automatic. I was thinking about getting that. But yeah. <laughs> thank you for your questions. And thank you, everyone, for watching today. I feel like I haven't been home all day. In this home. Hi, Sniffles. Oh, I forgot to feed you. Crap. Ah, I'm going to feed all my animals. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.